What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to be going over ticker symbol NIO. I'll be covering on the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame in anticipation for Monday's trading day, April the 19th, 2021. I'm also going to be covering a few news catalysts that I think are going to be relevant towards NEO going into next week and probably the next couple couple of coming weeks also. I'm also going to be covering the short interest on NEO because NEO is a shorted stock. It is not a heavily shorted stock. However, there is short interest within the stock. And then I'm also going to be giving like my bearish bullish ideas for possibly Monday going into that trading day and moving forward. But overall for NEO, I still remain very bullish on the stock. I think very much long term. I'm a long term investor. I'm not a short term investor. Investing is really meant to be done on a five, 10 year platform, not looking at how much money can I make in one month or one year kind of thing. And that's the broader picture that I think we all need to keep in mind is investing really isn't meant to be done within a one month to one year time frame. We've been blessed and we've been grateful and we've been grateful for this bull market that we've essentially had since 2010. And now it's kind of getting a little tenuous of what's going on with the pandemic and we're starting to feel effects of that in the fed and all those kinds of things but enough of me rambling and all that kind of stuff if you guys can before we dive into this just hit that like button hit that subscribe button make sure that you turn on notifications and ring the bell it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm moving forward i've i'm still a relatively small channel but all of you guys who have liked the videos and who have subbed to the channel and who have turned on notifications i greatly thank you from the bottom of my heart like it I've not expected this level of growth in this channel this far, and I'm so happy to do it, and I'm ready to keep cranking out content for you guys. So if you guys also have any ticker recommendations, drop them down in the comment section. I'm, feel free. I'm more than interested. I just expanded myself as a tattoo chef because it was a stock that I was looking at, but now that I did some fundamental and technical analysis on it, I'm have a position within Tattoo Chef. So let's go ahead go ahead over here and cover the short interest right now on NEO. So overall the short interest for NEO went up five hundredths of a percent on Friday. The short interest only sits at 5.81%. So it is not a heavily shorted stock like AMC or a GameStop or a lot of the other kind of I don't want to call them meme stocks, but those kinds of stocks. And the current short interest right now is 77.13 million shares. The utilization is sitting at about 17.74%. The cost to borrow is at 0.62, which is not very high because the days to cover here is only about half a day to cover. There is a lot of shares on loan, though. There's 55.22 million shares on loan. So there is a significantly outstanding short position within NEO. So keep that in mind. It might be a driving factor behind the price. So, but that's really the short interest behind NEO. There's right now the short interest that was reported on the exchange as of March 31st was 65.41 million, but our current right now is 77.13 million. So that is a significant change. So just another thing to keep in mind. But also, when I go over all this kind of stuff, I take it with a grain of salt because this is what my due diligence is going in each and every single day. If you guys have different due diligence or something doesn't line up, drop it down below because I always want to make my research better when I can make it better kind of thing. And also keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice at all kind of thing. So, and I am investing within Neo on the... 10 year time frame. I'm not looking at NEO. It could drop 50% and I'd be like, okay, kind of thing, because I'm not going to sell NEO. I'll just dollar cost average myself down, which is buying the stock at a lower price than what you currently hold it at. And that's really what I always do when the stocks drop lower. I just bring my dollar cost average down because I know in the end, NEO in 10 years is not going to be worth $36. It's going to be worth a lot more. So just keep that in, keep that in mind. But anyways, the huge, huge two news things that I want to go over is the partnership with Ford. Ford has agreed with a partnership with NEO to allow the Mach-E to use NEO chargers within China, which is a good thing. Additionally, 
the Neo Sinopec partnership, or I, you could say maybe rumored partnership slash agreement of swapping out the battery packs underneath Neo's cars. And essentially what this is, is a little station where you'll drive into it, put the car in park, a machine will come out, grab the battery pack that's currently in your car, pull it out, and then swap it out with a new one, and then you can continue on driving. There's no need for the driver to hop out of the vehicle or something like that. But the other huge news catalyst, I've said two, but there's really three, is the date of May 6th. Now, May 6th is rumored to be the day that Neo is going to announce their expansion into Europe. And when they expand into Europe, they're going to expand over in the Norway within, and then really focus on Oslo. And there's going to be a store built within Oslo. And this is all rumor, so take it with a grain of salt. This could change in a couple of days kind of thing. But that's the rumor around May 6th. Also, we have to keep in mind that Shanghai is having their auto show. So Neo is going to be at this auto show. So we will see a lot of media presence starting tomorrow covering Neo. So we may honestly see a little bit of a price movement to the upside starting tomorrow because of all the news that's coming in on Neo. So these are factors to keep in mind, not just for tomorrow, but of over the next coming couple of weeks kind of thing. So let's go ahead and hop over here into Weeble and cover Neo on the daily time frame. Then we'll hop out to the weekly, hop out to the monthly. So overall for Neo on Friday, it got beat all the way down to $34 and then saw an intraday high of $36.54, which was good because Neo isn't really a stock that likes being at this $34, $35 range. It tends to want to trade around right now $37 to $40. So I still think we have room to make up on Monday. And I think that's what we're going to be doing on Monday is we're going to see a very bullish trend with the news and the partnerships and all this kind of stuff. And the whole buy the rumors, sell the news kind of thing. I think, I personally think, take it with a grain of salt, I think Neo is going to be going to the upside. I don't think it's going to be going to the downside. I think we found the bottom of the barrel and we're only going up really from here. Now, I could be completely wrong. Once again, not a financial advisor, not financial advice. I could be completely wrong and we could diverge all the way back down to $34, but I do not see it as likely because. Looking at these moves here on the RSI, in the morning we were deeply oversold. We are really overextended here on the MACD. Like, what, if you if you took a picture of this MACD and sent it to me and said, "What stock would this be?" I honestly would guess that it's Tesla because Tesla has these high volatility moves within the stock. So I would honestly guess it's Tesla. I'm shocked that Neo is this overextended on the MACD within the intraday within the one day time frame. But the huge thing to take a look at here is in the after hours, we pretty much traded flat at $36 and we closed at $35.98. The RSI is sitting at $37.60, which is very low. It is below neutral. It's not oversold or overbought. However, it is below neutral, so it definitely has a lot of room to go. But if we hop out here to the five day, five minute time frame, one of my more preferable time frames. Because I like looking at the macro perspective. The micro perspective can tell us a little bit, but it's more of the macro that we want to take a look at. And you can see really the support that we have here sitting right around 3593. We traded below it for the for Friday and for Thursday. And both days we had heavy wow, okay. On Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we had heavy sell-offs into the open. Essentially on Thursday and Friday, we found our bottom and then we climbed back up. But when we sold off here from 39.68 all the way down to our close, sitting here around 36.95, it's not a good sign for the stock. But I think the trend is going to start reversing. And if we can take a look here at the RSI, we're sitting at 41. The MACD, we're still very overextended here, even on a more macro perspective. It's not as bad as it was on Thursday, however, but we are still overextended here. At least we have a little overextension, the even out to the up and downside kind of thing versus on Thursday, it literally was just to the downside and nothing else. So if you go out here and hop out to the one month time frame, I drew this trend line that started pretty much right around the 1st of April. Because April tends to be the bullish month 
a bullish month within the calendar year. And we were trading definitely in very much of what's called a bear flag. Bear flags are trends that are to the downside. Bull flag because you're looking for a bullish move that is going to pop out of the downward channel. Now, bull flags are the inverse, are upward channels, and you're waiting for the stock to break to the downside. So keep those in mind when with charts. But the huge thing is when I'm taking a look here at more of a macro perspective, the RSI is sitting still below neutral. We do have a bullish indicator here on the MACD, which means the MACD has crossed over the signal and is headed towards the equilibrium. We are not terribly over overextended towards the end of the day, but towards the beginning of the day, we are definitely very overextended. So what this is telling me is from a macro perspective, NEO is definitely very bullish, but from a micro perspective, we are looking very bearish. Personally, if I put the chart together along with this news, I think NEO is going to be making a move to the upside because we have news behind us and all these partnerships. And we also have seen $34. And the last time that we were really down in this territory, we had a very, very strong move to the upside. So it's just a thing to keep in mind when we chart stocks, Stocks tend to repeat and have, we can look at the past and make a prediction based off of the past because stocks normally tend to trade in like a certain movement. But that's what I got for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.